Welcome to the show, the show about words. Today, today's word is bird. And this show is about words. Hey, welcome to the show about words. Um, I'm very excited to have you. You are mine. You are in my magical realm. <laughs> you will notice uh, better quality in uh, video and hopefully audio uh, as I have switched cameras from my incredible uh, laptop uh, built-in camera to my phone front-facing camera. So things will be uh, seen backwards such as when I show you my book, um, it looks all great, perfect. Um, but I'm excited for another show. You know, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, yesterday's show was on book, the word booger, which as we all know is an imaginary word made up by me and also, um, mean parents, which I'm a parent. Um, I'm apparently (laughs) a parent. No, I, I'm a parent and, uh, but I am excited because uh, today is a very, very special word to me. It's a word I don't think gets enough press. It did get a lot of press uh, in the last few years um, in regards to governmental conspiracies uh, and drone-like behavior. The word is bird. As always on on words, we go in depth and break down the word from its root source. We do this by taking into effect and um, into account multiple different aspects of the word itself. So the word bird, 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 bird. I won't do the song. You all know it. We all love it. It's a classic bird. Uh, Let's see. So um, the whole idea with this is to meditate on a word, right? Because it's more than just that word. There's more to it. In essence, a word like bird uh, exemplifies a concept, right? There's there's so many things that it brings to mind. For each of us, it brings a different type of bird to mind. In the fact that we can all connect to one word such as bird and have so many different affects from that one word is truly an incredible magical thing. So I want to break it down. And that's what we do. We break it down. Um, We find out more more so than the root. Um, We find the goot, the goot of the word, um, which is something I've coined. Goot, I'm writing that down. I'm writing coin next to it. Uh, Put a star, coined. So that means I own it. Thank you. Um, Let's jump into it. So bird, um, and this all the information I'm getting is from a very trusted source, uh, the internet. Uh, birds, also known as aves or avian dinosaurs. Okay, right off the bat, within the first sentence, with only two commas already used, eight words, birds, also known as aves, A-V-E-S, or avian dinosaurs. Oh my God. This right here, avian dinosaurs. Okay. So this, do you know what this means? This means everything we were taught is wrong. There were dinosaurs. And those aren't just some... Those big skeletons they put up in museums aren't just some form of uh, governmental mind control to make us believe that giant monsters lived before here and that we're part of some larger universal thing and the earth isn't flat and that and that people are uh, more than what they seem. <laughs> it's just avian dinosaurs. So they're known as avian dinosaurs. I'm writing that down horizontally. I mean diagonally on my paper as to denote importance and also carelessness. Okay, avian dinosaurs. Um, so for uh, 
let's, let me see here. Um, Aves and Aviofauna redirect. Okay, these. So the 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 not root word, but Latin word for. Uh, and I'm just making this up. The Latin word for bird. <laughs> Is aves or avian dinosaur are a group of endothermic vertebrates. So, if my schooling teaches me anything, I was the Latin, uh, the treasurer in the Latin club in high school. Endothermic denotes some form of inside thermic. Endo. 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 So, somewhere behind a door lies a thermic. A thermos, a thermos, a, a, okay, so possibly a thermos full of vertebrae, which are backbones. This is getting creepy, guys. We got a room full somewhere, pro prob probably Area 51, a room full of thermoses with backbones in them this is what bird bird means and this is literally within this first sentence okay within this first sentence there are no less than one two three four five six seven eight eight commas now i don't know about you but that seems like way too many commas for the beginning sentence in a definition. Okay? So these avian dinosaurs are roaming around collecting human backbones, placing them in thermoses. They're, they're also characterized by, by feathers. So... If you're if you are afraid of your backbones being taken, I want you to make sure you look in and you and you uh you make sure there aren't feathered peep birds, avian dinosaurs walking around. Um toothless beaked jaws. So they're obviously methed out these meth mouth birds, avian dinosaurs with feathers and and meth mouth. The laying of hard-shelled eggs, so they have terrible digestion. It sounds like, um, if they're 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 uh, they're whatever they pass should be soft and not hard, um, according to most biological researchers on feces. A high metabolic rate, again meth, right? Um, a four-chambered heart. That sounds familiar to human. Are these werebirds? These werebird. These are these avian di Hold on a second. So we got they're not just birds. They're dinosaurs and they have human hearts. Let me just just drawing what I imagine a human heart to look like. Okay. Um, four chambers. It looks like a very, yeah, that's four. And a strong yet lightweight skeleton. Now this, this is way different than anything I would be. Um, I am a very, it's a very strong, extremely heavy skeleton, possibly the heaviest skeleton known to man or bird. Um, and of course birds are the uh, fish of the air. Um, or the human of the um, air as well. They fly above us, as we all know. Um, these avian dinosaur human hybrids that are collecting um, human backbones. I want to I want to dig in a little bit more here. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna read and then we'll we'll discuss because I'm finding out a lot of things about birds that are honestly. A little disturbing. So, birds live worldwide and range in size from the five centimeter, which is two inches. B, it's a bee hummingbird, a two inch bird, which is like probably, um, to a nine foot ostrich. 
So they come in many shapes and sizes. They rank as the world's most numerically successful class of tetrapods. Now, tetrapods um, is the Roman word for, um, oh, it's Greek, I apologize, are four-limbed uh, from Greek, meaning uh, with a few, such as uh, animals cons constituting the superclass. And it includes ex extant and extinct amphibians. Um, definition can be defined in class cladistics as the nearest common ancestor of all living amphibians. Okay, great. That's important to know. Wonderful, wonderful. So, let's see here. Aves and sister groups, the order, the order, order crocodile. Aves and a sister group, the order crocodile, contains, contain the only living representative of the reptile clade Arco, Ar, Archa, Arcosauria. Arcosauria. During the late nine, now listen close. During the late nineteen nineties, whoa, that's not that long ago. That's like ten years ago. During the late nineteen nineties, Aves was most commonly defined phylogenetically as all descendants of the most recent common ancestor of modern birds and Arco Archeo. Uh, pateric lithographica. However, they they said however after those big words. That is ballsy. However, an earlier definition proposed by Jacques Gauthier gained wide currency in 20, the 21st century and is used by many scientists, including adherents of the phylocode system. Gauthier defined aves to include only the crown group of the set of modern birds this was done by excluding most groups known only from fossils and assigning them instead to the avl av in part to avoid the uncertainties about the placement of archaeotepatrics in relation to animals traditionally thought of as theropod dinosaurs <laughs> what the Guthier identified four different definitions for the same biological name, Aves, which is a problem. Guthier proposed to reserve the term Aves only for the crown group consisting of the last common ancestor of all living birds and all of its descendants, which corresponds to meaning number four below. He assigned other names of the other groups. Oh my god! What does that mean? I know what it means. Birds have been trying to su supplant humans since the beginning of time. What do you think they do up there all day in their nests? Birding. What do you... The, the term early bird catches the worm. Who do you think came up with that? People? <laughs> I don't think so. I think birds came up with it. They're all proud of themselves for waking up early. And now look at us in America and Japan as well. We all have to wake up early to get things done. Coincidence? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, if I were a betting man, which I'm not, I would bet, which I won't, that in the next 10 years, Birds will be able to fly to the moon. To the moon. I know they can fly already, but they will fly to the moon. They're planning it. I see them out there mocking me, especially those mocking birds. I think they're so clever. 
parroting my ideas, walking around with their two cans of paint and finching uh, pelican. Anyway, I'm just naming birds. The okay. Back to um, back to my point. Based on fossils and biological evidence, most scientists accept that birds are a specialized subgroup of theropod dinosaurs. So, people think dinosaurs are extinct when in fact, they're amongst us. They are, if you've ever seen um, an ostrich or even a uh, bird, another bird of any type, you would say that reminds me of a t-rex most likely you would say that and you wouldn't be potentially wrong you would be post haste correct i want to hypothesize something for just a moment um most people make bird noises like this Right? I propose that we stop doing that because it's annoying. Okay? Not only that, but what are they trying to do? Tune into our brains or something? Did you hear that? Listen, these birds are a menace to uh, not only society. But um, they're freaking me out. I just want to, while we're on the subject here, I'd like to pull up a couple of images for you. Okay? Just so you know what we're dealing with. And you can tell me, in the comments, of course, uh, your thoughts on birds. Yeah. Get ready to be absolutely horrified. What in God's name is that? That's a bird? That's a bird? Look at that bird eating another bird. That was not so bad. Oh my God, look at this thing. They don't even have teeth. These methed out monsters are walking around without teeth without a uh, care in the world they're just run these are gonna haunt my dreams anyway bird 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 Byrid, byrid, by b b a erd, b a erd, b a erd. How many syllables? How many syllables is bird? Bird. Pass the test. It's one. B erd. By so let's break the word apart. Starts with the letter B, which sounds like this. B. Um, nailed that. The next three letters are of heavy consequence in this word, um, as they each make their own distinct sound. I, of course, makes the I sound. B. -i. B -i -r, which makes the raw 
raw sound. Burr, 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 in D, which makes the da sound, da. Burrada, 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 burretta. <gasps> burretta, that's a, that's a type of gun in hat as well, I believe. Is that a hat? Mysteries. Ba, 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 ba. If. Oh my God. Uncovering the universe. Beretta. <gasps> a Beretta is a handgun. Roughly the size of the average bird. Beretta. Also, it sounded like bread. Bread. Oh my god. Gluten allergies. Bread is the reason I'm fat. This goes deeper than I could have ever imagined. These birds are avian dinosaur, human hearted. Gun-toting, bread-spouting monsters. But be by byard byard. They it also sounds like tired. And if that I just wrote the word bird down. I did not mean to. <laughs> you know, when I be, when I first began this show, I I did it because I love words. I love them so much I use them every day. Most time sometimes twice a day. And I never realized that words most words are um conspiring to murder us. Pizza. God. Booger, the devil, bird, Beretta, bread, B Byard, Byard, tired. It all makes sense. God, the devil, depression, fatness, s laziness, um, gun violence. It's all right there. It's all right there. Their birds are everywhere. Guns are also everywhere. Oh my god. What the f You saw that, right? Do you? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <gasps> I think the birds are taking over. Ah, this means, this means it's time to freestyle rap, baby. And you know, this has been an emotional show for me today, finding out that birds are terrorists, that they uh, only want damnation for all of human races. All the human races, not r all of human racists. Birds hate racists. Do birds hate racists? Birds race. Do birds race? Are birds ever racing each other? Do birds race? That would that would mean a lot. If birds birds do they race?
how does a pigeon race pigeon racing these birds are racist especially those pigeons they seem to be racing all the time cold hard facts here on the internet I just found let me see if there's images oh <gasps> oh my god now don't take my word for it but these these little avian dinosaur monsters seem to be racing one another and murdering one another almost daily this one's murdering a frog what the frog did that frog do to you wait no oh it's a toad sorry i it's okay in that case <sighs> listen this wormhole could take us down um some sort of uh nexus to another dimension that's what wormholes do uh theoretically of course not for a fact because nobody's ever been in a wormhole i kind of feel like this show is a wormhole it's the word hole on word holes freestyle rap all right the word is bird and you know how it works we just go from the top of the dome where all the freshest raps live. So here it is, baby. Birds. Every single day, flying in the air. Birds want to go and brush their hair. They love to get high and fly in the sky. Man, those birds, they they just diving on. They, they dive into the ground looking for worms. One of them birds had a sick ass perms. Man, I'm so tired of these dangerous birds. All they want to do is shoot one another with their curd gun. They can't even be thought of unless they have been uh, brought of the first ramification of the last justification when the dinosaurs walk the earth, the birds, they went first and Noah's Ark couldn't hold them because they was in the air like, whoa, son, you, I don't need a boat. Duh, bro, I'm a bird. I got wings. I can fly low if I need to. I can go at any altitude I, because I got a bad attitude. I'm a bird. I got different colors on my wings, colors on my chest. I make weird noises and I am the best. I'm a bird. I'm a b b b bird. I rhyme with bread. And Beretta. I'm a dangerous method effing trekker. I'm the, I'm the illest bird in the world. That's why they call it the avian flu, because I'm going to come after you and I'm going to make you wish you did die too. Bird. So that's how rapping is done. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of On Words, where we learned about uh, the word bird which is, again, a terrifying um, avian, avius, avius is what it's called, but it's also uh, known, we'll recap, of course, as we do with um, in every episode, also known as avis, which is a car uh, rental place, uh, but it's also a bird, or avian dinosaurs. Like we said, they're were, were birds. Uh, they are half part dinosaur, part uh, frolicking, flapping bird. And they have hearts like humans. Um, and they have meth mouth. And they have high metabolisms because they're on meth. And these birds also rank as the world's most numerically successful class of tetrapods, which is a bullshit word that nobody could ever know what it means even the definition isn't clear on what a tetrapod is so i don't i wouldn't call that successful you know um we've also found out that bird is um a murdering subclass of humanoid 
uh, because they are Berettas. We've established that gun signs are bird signs, which is terrifying fact of uh, reality now that I have to live with. Um, and so do you because you've watched this. Um, also, I th think what we're, what we're really getting at here is that most people um, believe one way and most other people believe another way. When it comes to birds, and that's it. Just birds. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the clear visuals much better this time around. I hope you enjoyed the clear sound much better this time around. I hope you enjoyed the rap as always and the conciseness with which I provide each and every message of on words. Um, next week, or next, I mean next tomorrow, which is the next day in the days of how they work, um, I will be speaking on the word raisin. Raisin is the word, um, and we're going to talk about raisin, such as we talked about bird. And thank you. I'd like to thank our sponsor, uh, the Internet, for allowing us to spread this uh, knowledge and goodwill to all of humanity. And I'd like to thank God as well. Thank you. Thank you, pizza. Pizza. Have a nice day. Oh, and make sure to check out my book, Infinity's Mirror, uh, Rhett Smiley, the incredible Rhett Smiley, Infinity's Mirror, and um, everything else I've ever done, as usual. Bye.